Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. We're back with another game. A game that released two days ago uh, called A Hero's Rest. It's designed by a company called Barn Gand Games, which is made from two people, a couple. And I am very pleasantly surprised by the quality of this game. I tested the demo on the previous stream week and I got um, really into it. And since it got released, it already had like two small patches with some really good quality of life things. So let's delve right into it. Also, hello, Sebastian. I see you with your coffee. <laughs> so we need a name for our lovely town. Let's go with um, Fantasia, because we play in a fantasy world. Let's go with uh, a new beginning. So there are four maps, new beginning, mountain pass, hanging gardens, three maps. I've only played the new beginning, so we're going to stay on this one for now. And for difficulty, we have relaxing, challenging and hardcore. Relaxing is totally relaxing because things are a lot cheaper and a lot less challenging in a way. So we're going to go with challenging because why not? <laughs> We can have up to four saves, and I'll explain things as we go. Okay, so this is the starting map. It's just showing us around a little bit. So let's keep that. Greetings, I write with pleasure to inform you His Majesty the King, in his great wisdom, has gotten it into his head to appoint your father to develop this piece of land into a bustling little pit stop for passing adventurers to rest up and buy whatever is their adventurer types need. Of course, your lazy old man will do anything to avoid his responsibilities and is nowhere to be seen. As your father's, I am sure, very capable child, this task falls to you. Use whatever resources your father has left you and be sure to please his majesty's wishes. Don't forget that each piece of land you own will be taxed to fill his majesty's coffers undeniably to support his subjects. Sincerely, Mr. George Stewart of His Majesty the King of Felonia. <laughs> They're called Felonia. Also, doesn't he look like um Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> Just the, the impression this face gives me. Okay, I got this. I do not need the tutorial. Thank you. So the game has three speeds, slow motion, regular and fast. Slow is actually fast in this game. So what we want to do is we want to start by building an inn. <laughs> so the first plot we get for free, I'm going to buy this one. And I'm also going to buy the one next to it, because we will need two lots to get started. So we have this massive area to build. It looks massive, it really isn't. So we need some floor. Three, four, I'm making this a little bit big, but I have uh, a reason. Okay, let's put door right about here window another window Okay, so there is that. Let's place a door because, you know, we need a door. And then in every lot we buy, we actually need to put a workstation. So we tell it what this building is. In this case, it's going to be an innkeeper. Proximity is important. So our guys will walk in, they'll go through the door, and we want the innkeeper to be right about here. Additionally, we need an oven, a stockpile, and a quest board. Every building needs a stockpile for obvious reasons. 
So, can I squeeze the oven here? Yes. And the stockpile, for now, I'm going to squeeze over there. Now we need a quest board, and we cannot get that yet, because we need to build a blacksmith. The game also has random resources around that you can collect, and they respawn. So we have the little puddles where you get fish, and they recharge periodically. These trees that you can also collect. They are always on the same spots, and they take a, a number of days to respawn. So there are like a little bit of passive... Um, resources to get you started. And yes, we have a pretty big area to work with. Because our adventurers are needy and they need a lot of things. Okay. Now, we see we have our black, our um, innkeeper here. And we have a number of. Um, Attributes we have the production, decoration, etc. The size of the building, the walls, the floor, they are part of the decoration. That's why I made this so big. Obviously, the more decorated it is, the more people like it. And we want people to like it, so they will use it. Let's put a blacksmith forward, so let's place that back here. Oops. So, if we do a mistake, we double click on a tile and we can move it, thankfully. Still doing okay on money. Let's place a door over here. I'm going to place a second door out here to this area. And I'll explain why in a little bit. We're going to have some outdoor activities for our people over there. So they need a way to get there easily. Okay, let's place a door. <coughs> and we want a blacksmith. So we need a stockpile and a counter. So a generic vendor counter near the entrance. Right here will do. No, not an oven. Stockpile. For now, right next to you. Perfect. Now back to the innkeeper. We need to build a quest board. So workstations, quest board. Is it this way with the light to the left, I think? Yes. So our heroes will go there, pick up their quests and go. We got a tree to collect from here. Getting a bunch of milestones. And here comes the weapon master. Now let's make some food. For those who will visit us. We can make apple. Uh what is this? Juice, but it doesn't tell me what juice it is. Uh, yeah, fruit juice, okay? And we can make a fruit cake. So, since we are nice to our people, we're gonna make a fruit cake. And we're going to add some seasoning to make it a little bit better. Costs a little bit more, but quality is important. We got five bad and ten good. We can live with that. Change the game to a regular speed. So periodically the Weapon Master will visit us and he will allow us to design classes for our heroes. First, we're gonna make a class. They have four core attributes. Strength, which gives us a little bit of gold every day. Dexterity, where they produce a little bit of food. Constitution, they'll help us defend against threats. And Intelligence generates a number of um, royal tokens which we can use as a currency. 
gonna go with strength, one-handed swords, and we're gonna call these guys champions. And we select an icon for them. So now we selected our first hero class. People with that class will start coming in into the town and we'll have to start supplying them with equipment. Weapons, armors, everything. Let's go craft some stuff. So we want to make one-handed swords. Ariel is telling us that we can customize it as much as we like. Hi, T. So let's make a nice blade. Let's go with this one. Let's go with this guard. Oops, one back. And this. Cool. And now for colors. Let's go with white. Let's make the blade sort of grayish with a red rune and the guard let's make it red again with a little gold gem here so let's make five of these rare rare broken force Common, broken. So also we have a bunch of resources. So we have food and four different tiers of it. Herbs and four different tiers of it. Pretty much of every resource. Lumber, linen, leather and ingots. Those we can only get by sending our people out to do quests. Speaking of quests, we need to create some quests for the heroes that will visit us. Let's go craft a couple. We have two different types. We have gathering and slay quests, what we're looking for, and the number of uh, attributes. So I want a farming and mining one because I want to make more weapons. I want my guys to go bring me more metal. And here I can change the difficulty. They use something called the CR to evaluate if it's something for them to do, too easy, too hard, etc. So we're gonna reduce this difficulty just to get them started. So I want one for metal and one for wood because those are the two materials I use to craft weapons. At the moment I have a limit of five quests so I'm going to wait before I make any more. Okay, let's go build a couple upgrades. We can build a beehive stand. So besides heroes visiting us, we have random people visiting the town. And they buy stuff that we sell. So selling honey is a way to make some money. <clears throat> and also, I need a couple tables for my people. So interior decorations, wooden table. The table, besides money, actually costs lumber, so I cannot make as many as I like. So let's put the people somewhere close to here. Let's place one. And let's do a second table as well. Let's give it a bit of space, because snapping is a little weird in the game. Takes a little bit to get used to. Okay. So we've got plenty of room for them. And I'm going to make a few rooms with beds for them to sleep on and recover. Okay, so I have 8,000. And to build beds, they cost 900 and one thread. So I will make, I will remove snapping, one here, two. We'll stay with two beds for now. I'll make more as we go. 
Okay, game go on normal speed, not on too fast. Anything to collect? Nothing yet. Oh, we got some mushrooms. Got some more mushrooms down there. And some of those resources are sneaky, they are in weird places. Hi, Weapon Master. We will see you next time, whenever you decide to drop by again. So to make weapons, <clears throat> specifically one hand swords, we need two to one. So two ingots to one wood. So we'll need a lot more ingots. So I have 5 available weapons, 2 quests and 15 stuff for food. Okay. I have all the decoration that I need for now, that's good. And you're missing 5 pieces of decoration and you don't have any store displays. A store display for you would be a weapon display, one ingot, two wood. Okay. Let's place you right here. So when people come in, they can see what weapons we have. Why are we selling the bad one? <laughs> so this is our inventory. I can completely delete those, but I want to sell them when we get a trader. So there is a trader that visits periodically and he can buy all the broken stuff from us to give us back a little bit of money. People do not like broken equipment. Oh, we got our first visitor. Bernan! He looks tough. Let's rename him. He'll be Sebastian. There you go, Sebastian. You got your first hero. <laughs> Oop. So his CR at the moment is 10. He's level 1. What I want to do is I want to go into the inn on food and I want to allocate the good food to him. I don't want him to buy the bad one because all heroes have a morale and horrible morale means they leave with all the goodies they have. And we don't want that. Yep, we bought the fruitcake. So food helps them replenish their health and mana. Okay, and while they are doing this, here are the weapons we crafted earlier, and I have three green stones. I can use those to upgrade weapons. So I'm gonna try to increase this. Yep, this became epic. One more time. Come on, go become legendary. Perfect. So now. I hope that this guy will go by the legendary weapon. He has two and a half thousand gold in him. And... Yeah, that costs only 700. He should be able to buy. Morale went up a little bit. That's good. From the high quality food. And they give us a little bit of uh, tips about what they like, what they don't like. He bought the weapon and he got bo even more morale. Nice. But he didn't buy the legendary. Hmm. Well, he can buy it later. 
His CR is up to 12, so now he needs a quest. You can depend on them to automatically pick up one, but sometimes they're like, oh, this is too easy, this is too hard, I don't want to do it. So you need to give them, you can allocate a quest to them directly. I'm going to go craft a quest, which is a bit more fitting to his skill. No, I did not flood. Outside, everything has flooded, but not me. <laughs> Are you swimming? Let's go metal. And difficulty 10 to 14. And I want you to go do this quest. Yeah, thankfully I was lucky in that regard. That's a random visitor. He's here for our money. Blood, yes. It's been raining like crazy for, what, three days now? Okay, I'm being very lucky with the legendaries. Yeah, we're not used to so much heavy rain. Did it cause any damage, Steve? Well, you guys are underwater already, so, you know. No new resources yet. <clears throat> and here is my hero roster. I only have one hero, Sebastian. Oh, we definitely will. Well, in theory, we are up, we are heading towards spring and then summer, so we're gonna need it soon. Yeah, you, yes. Let's see how long you survive before you perish at the hands of a dragon or something, if you get that high up. <laughs> Hi, Colby. Bye, Colby. Oh, we got some money.
<laughs> I'm sure there must be some sort of reservoirs to collect a lot of it. Second hero, Teal. You the guy? Yep, he's the guy. So, for you, what do we have? You can have one of those. And the visitors can get the horrible stuff. the guy you're going for a weapon hello friend my name is Samo Bottom yes Sam Bottom but you may call me Sam the Trader I heard you have been busy building quite the place here and you know what they say if opportunity doesn't knock build the door and I can see quite a few of those what I'm saying is if you have some extra resources you don't need or perhaps some less desirable equipment I can trade them with you for, let's say, a mutually, mutually beneficial price. I also have this resource chest. If you're lucky, they can be quite rewarding for the right price. So feel at home and enjoy my wares while I stay. Let me sell this before they buy them. Good. So I have seven pieces of... Like that. Eight. Let's make a few more weapons. Take the broken. Uh, I'll keep the normal for now. At least it's not a penalty. 62, that's good. What's your CR? CR 13. Let's make something just for you. So let's make it overt. Metal. Let's make two of them. And you are going there. Got your mission. Enjoy. I have 8,000. 
I need to start expanding. So let's buy this little area. And slowly start building an apothecary. So we can sell potions. Let's make some more food. Okay. Only one bud. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. Raider, come here. Buy the horrible stuff. It's good. And the more we craft things, the more experience we get. Okay, so only one bud. Good. Guessing Till is going to his adventure as well. Up, oh, it's backwards. Okay. Make your thing. Cool. Rotate. So at least this way they will pick things up from the front. Why is this quest? <laughs> Okay. Visual glitz. Love it. That's better. Any new victims to join the fold? Have four weapons. Hmm. Twenty gold because of the two heroes. And start building this. How much do I want for the apothecary? Ooh, that's a lot of money. I don't have enough yet. But soon. It starts nice and slowly, and then it just turns into chaos. <laughs> Got two green crystals. Let's make another one. Or try to. I'm ridiculously lucky with the legendaries today. The legendaries, the good thing is when someone buys it and they stay in town, they have a number of benefits, like blacksmith sells by 5% or woodworker sells by 5%. You want to keep those as much as possible. Because they are good bonuses and they stack. Hi there, I'm Cecile, and I happen to live right off the path from your town. Just wanted to say that while we're grateful that you decide to make something out of this stretch of land, the folks think that we deserve better. Of course you do. That's why they sent me to talk to you, the one in charge. The shops you have been putting up are very empty. Going into them feels as if I'm house hunting. Add some furniture, make them appealing. Nice looking shops attract more customers that will flock to your town and decrease its reputation. We'll get more business, you'll get more business. It's a win-win scenario. Yes, yes. So pretty much we have our um, reputation here, which is calculated every day. And it has a number of attributes to it. At the moment, it's deserted. We are almost to barren. So we're getting there. But I need another hero, one more victim, to join the fold. Craft some more food. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the bad. I don't want it to go to someone wrong. Sebastian can get the excellent fruitcake. <laughs> is he back from his quest? Yes, he is. Were you successful? Yes, my last quest was a blast. Quest complete, one. Well, now we need to give you another one. Uh, your CR is seven and it's climbing. So we can send him on a much more dangerous mission. And this will be highlighted as purple. But his CR will go up in a minute once he recovers a little bit. So you should be able to handle a 9 without any problems. You gonna buy a legendary weapon now? Or are you gonna be cheap? Hooray! <coughs> now he has a legendary weapon. Seventy-two percent morale. That's beautiful. He's going to get some snooze. It should increase his morale a little bit more. Good. I should probably allocate the good stuff. Yeah, I already did. Okay, so the others can get the normal. I don't want the visitors taking the the high quality stuff. I want those for the heroes. I need to keep them happy. My quest limit is only five still. Hello, Nocturnal. Good morning to you. Long time no see indeed. How are you? Good to see you around. Very little of fruit cakes, apparently. <laughs> Only one bud, that's fine. Allocate this to Sebastian. You will get all the fruit cake. the grind. So I need to maintain 200 gold to pay out the quests. That's okay. Thanks for dropping by before bed. I'm doing pretty good, considering we have a bunch of uh, rain over here, which can be both good and bad. <laughs> doing pretty well, enjoying a day off from work, and of course the weekend starting tomorrow, so good time. Perfect time to play some more games. Hope you had a great week as well. I see you glaring there, T. <laughs> Probably. 
That wouldn't cost too much, so let's make this into a little storage area. And that should get one more decoration. So move this back here. Uh, go into the office. Yeah, no, thank you. I mean, I have to go into the office three times a week at this point, but uh, yeah. Public transport? Absolutely not. No, thank you. Rain seems to be all over the place at the moment. Hi, Teddy, welcome. Why are you a visitor and not a hero? <laughs> <laughs> and we have the third hero. You're the guy, I'm Rick. Well, if it's raining in Athens, be sure it's going to turn into a, an ocean. What are the options, see? We need a name for this guy. Um, <laughs> it's a, you're fine. Well, let's make him tea. Gonna be tea. There we go. Let's make Sebastian a favorite. You can play this. Fun. <laughs> Refreshing. YouTube doesn't like the B word. Sebastian allowed the message. <laughs> I like that you went with the official term. <laughs> Good for these peeps. This one. <laughs> Don't cry. Was it good lemonade? Or was it tip lemonade? Okay, that sucks then. I it right. Okay. Don't know if I had that one. 
Well, it's been a while since I bought soft drinks, so... Maybe I haven't, I don't know. We have creative names here, Sebastian, for stuff. <laughs> Some Vera Suzeran, general and military advisor to His Majesty the King. We have seen a rise in hostile activity across the realm and the dragon fang peaks to the north. It seems that a great danger has awoken. The havoc is imminent. Okay. Your orders are to arm and train those capable of war and protect the lands bestowed upon you. We recently spotted an imminent threat. We recently spotted an imminent threat in your area. You are to send urgent missions to repel this atrocity. Your performance will be reviewed every season. I have KPIs at the end of the 15th day and may be rewarded with gold and perhaps a piece of land. The defense of the realm depends on you. Do not disappoint. Yes, yes, yes. Apparently so. <laughs> What's wrong with your PC? Is it your graphics card that is having a meltdown? Nine. Ooh. Sebastian, you failed your quest. Same on you. Nine and thirteen. Ah, I see. <laughs> they do. Weak. <laughs> awesome. Hopefully it won't take too long, T. I know. Sebastian. I depended on you. I give you all the best fruit cake. And that's how you repay me? <laughs> mm. Yes, yes you did. Miserably too. No, you haven't paid off your uh, <clears throat> internship yet. <laughs> you will fall in battle the honorable way. What kind of diet right do they have over there, um, Eternal? Oh yeah, I need to make slay quests. Those are a thing too. Uh, you going straight for the sub? Okay, I mean that works too. Mm, metal and metal. Savage. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. 
missing something. What am I missing? Draw bears. What? George is hitting uh, soup. I thought he's more of a kind of um, meat kind of guy. <laughs> you know, keeping it real and all. That explains a lot of this. Quality stuff. We have this horrible thing which they hopefully won't take. And Sebastian is back. Let's throw stones at him. Their cola version, okay. Then you guys call. I'm trying to remember. So here we call things of drinks. Don't you in the US call everything a cola? Until. Uh, how did you fail with 82%? I mean, come on. Go slay goblins. You'll be happy. Uh, until we'll go do this one. Pop. Ah, yes. Lime. Interesting. Hi, Ned. Are you Ned Stark? So, our Coke. I like that every place has its own, you know way of labeling those. See, this guy went for a quest, he came back wounded. Sebastian went, failed, and he's fine. <laughs> now he's going to go play with goblins. He's gonna bring money back. It's okay. He's going on a <clears throat> investment trip. <laughs> did you buy a new weapon again? Yes, he did. He didn't like his previous legendary. He's like, I'm gonna buy a new one. <laughs> well, at least his morale is good. I was still doing. Till is doing good too. They want an apothecary. Yay, of course they do. Well, we don't have money for one. Uh, let's see. make a budget one <laughs> I can actually craft the potions at this point mm, interesting I am uh, investing in his expertise yes
750 for a stockpile, 350 for a vendor desk. <laughs> okay, so Midwestern call it pop, East Coast call it soda, and the South often calls it coke. Okay. Reputation upgrade, yes. More quests, good. Money. Thank you for the money. There's a lot of words it doesn't like. It's okay. You you keep Sebastian busy. are much cheaper but they cost food hold on um Hi Michael, good evening, how are you today? <laughs> so you don't need to worry about your wording? New victim. Well done, new victim. What do you buy? You bought a regular one. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's make this one nocturnal. Yes, I finished Cyberpunk yesterday. I did one of the endings on stream, and I've seen the rest on my own. <laughs> You're always welcome to hang out, T. Just a little bit of money. Let's make herb garden so we can get a nice little steady supply. Stop with two. Uh, and they're gonna start complaining because they don't have potions. I streamed 10, I streamed about 60 hours of it, and you didn't see two. <laughs> Ooh, city skylines. I haven't gone back into city skylines in a long, long time. <clears throat> yeah, right? <laughs> uh, one, two... Let's make four. A 
many of those I can craft two. Barely. Of course it's broken. And an epic. Nice. So upgrade this. Nope, we haven't upgrade. That's usually the case with uh, Skylines. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a very addicting game, especially if you start introducing new assets and stuff, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna build this, and then I'm gonna build this. <laughs> yeah. Now, going from uh, the cyberpunk experience to this, it's a very different experience, that's for sure. But this is chaos as well, just in a different way. Really? Give me a little bit of gold. Buy a fruitcake or something. Okay, fine. Wait, will his syrup drop? Hold on. Don't go anywhere. We're not done. Like this. Hmm, do I want to spend my tickets? Yes, I do. Three threads. Well, it's money, so I'll take it. Okay. Uh, let's get a few more herbs. How am I going on weapons? I have two. I have two. Oop, we're running out of food. Prices. Um, now we have another person. Hold on, heroes, you're all rolling in. Hold on. What the um, sim challenges are you doing at the moment? Hold on, I need to... Who's the new kid on the block? Nisildra. And... You will go do this. And... It's nocturnal on a quest. Who died? Okay. Well, there you go. And Eternal needs a quest as well. Legendary galore today. <clears throat> I mean, it seems what do you expect? <laughs> uh, you get a blank building and you do something with it. Okay. Most of the challenge stuff I've done for Sims was a lot of legacy stuff. to go into the negative a few times the hundred baby one <laughs> boy that's um that's an interesting one Oh, 
New hero. Who dis? You have sideburns and a mohawk. Okay. Well, you're gonna become Michael. Uh, let's buy you one more metal. Buy your loot. Buy. No, I would like to buy one, two of these. Make that three. No, not this. I don't. Normal, normal, and broken. That's sad. Okay, you can take the broken. More potions. They make three of these. Or just XP ones. Don't have the money for this, so we're going for the cheap stuff. And sell a little bit of wood. Since the trader is kind enough to be around. I'll make one of them. Okay, now we are good. Hiding in plain sight. Gather all the natural resources in the map. For all of that stuff, we're gonna need it. Now, can I see their morale? No. Oh no, I can. Only when they are in town, okay? CR 16. Nice. So I need to start giving them a few harder things to do. What do I have for 16? What can I do? Uh, that's only 10. Treasure hunt? Treasure hunt it is. I have only one that can do this. Farming and mining. Let's do one more for metal. And one for herbs.
So I need to expand this to improve that. But I don't have enough money. But I also do want to go broke. Uh, decisions, decisions. Okay, so let's move you here. Over there. That is thirty. And let's make a little storage room. Good. Now you have your full decoration and I got no money. Perfect. master will be around for a little bit well if it isn't my old friend to be honest with you i'm surprised it took you this long for us to meet again but you see i send you i sent for you because your treasure isn't doing all that great and his majesty the king isn't happy about it. what this means is if you owe more than 2000 to the crown i'm sorry but it will have to be out of my hands and you will lose your rights to the town in other words game over so perhaps considering selling some of those resources you're piling up or some of your shop's equipment enough so you can get back on your feet oh i almost forgot the king demands that an aid package be sent your way this is your last chance don't go spending it all at once it's never over until it's over you folks like to say that right uh-huh thank you for the three thousand now what does the king want Threads, leather, and bronze. And I have how long? 13 days. Okay, that's doable. Will be a good cash injection. Anyone back in town? Till is coming back and Nocturnal is coming back. Let's make. Um slightly easier so i want a little bit of leather that should be okay will this give me two no one out of three okay, so let's do one of those so one for leather i needed cloth as well so do one for cloth And I have six quests out of eight. Okay, I'm okay for now. I could make a second class, but I don't have enough money to play around with that yet. So it will have to wait. is about to do its thing that's good More bronze i'll take it five days until the end of the season five days until i get my kpis <laughs> How much is the king paying me? 
Uh, oh, that's a good amount. More bronze. Uh, I still have two weapons. And I can upgrade one. I don't want to upgrade the normal. I kind of want to craft, but I also don't want to until the trader comes back. So my guys don't go and buy the broken stuff because they are silly like that. Bill is back in town. He had a rough day. So that gives me five, which is not enough. Only one bud. I can choose who will take those as well. Uh, and they sell for a hundred. Well, they buy them for a hundred. The merchant buys them for like twenty. Nope. Better to destroy it. Morale is really difficult to fix. Especially if they are failing their quests. We have low morale all around. So they have six. Let's make them a couple easy quests to take then. So a 7 or an 8 would be good. Uh, go get some cloth and leather. Sort of. So <clears throat> you're giving a piece of land and you're and the king is like, hey, this is yours. Um, set it up for adventurers to drop by. So you build an inn, so people will drop in. You have random visitors who buy like honey and stuff like that, so you can make some money. And then you have your adventurers. You craft weapons, you supply them with weapons, you supply them with potions. So pretty much you customize the heroes and you try to give them the best things available to keep them happy. And then you send them out on quests and they bring you back resources. Because to craft weapons, you need like the bronze, you need the wood. So the economy is strictly based around the heroes. And then the quality of the items. Because, for example, Nocturnal came back from a failed quest and her morale is really low because she found the quest, right? So what they will normally do is like, okay, I'm gonna get some food. Food was good quality. Cool, that will increase my morale a little bit. Then they're gonna look for stronger gear because they failed. Same thing. And then they're like, okay, then I need to rest. And then I need to get a potion so I don't fail the next one. So what you don't want to is to let them drop down to zero morale. If they drop down to zero, they're gone. And you don't want them. You get new ones eventually, but it hurts your economy significantly. That's why I'm pampering them as much as I can. And I'm just circling around the map because like, there are little bronze nodes that you can loot every few days. So there are free resources, and early on, free resources are really, really important.
Is the weapon master here? Yeah. So then you have classes. So in the beginning, you, the game is like, okay, make a class. Choose a primary attribute. Select what weapon do you want them to use. So for this one, I said I want strength guys as my first heroes. And I want them to use one hand swords. As time goes by, I can use those tokens that I collect over time and by doing quests and unlock more weapons and more armor for them. But if I enable that for them, they I need to have it. If I tell them, yes, you can use heavy armor and I'm not selling heavy armor, they're going to be pissed and they're going to leave. So there is a lot of balancing that needs to happen between things. You're welcome. I'm really, really enjoying this game. I've been playing it a lot on my own, too. <laughs> and of course, there is a bunch of risks that you can take. Like, here, when you see the green, it means that this is within their level. So it's quite simple, that's the loot they're gonna get. If I try to send someone generic into this one, instead of 6 to 8, they are going to get more, if they succeed, and a lot more XP. But they are a lot more likely to die, and I don't want them to die. And it's part of uh, our uh, season evaluation as well. And they are buying potions like crazy! Bye, Weapon Master. I don't need you yet, so you're good to go. Oh, I got no weapons. That's a problem. Uh, I need to craft weapons. Something that is not broken, preferably. Two rares. I can live with that. I'll try to upgrade this. Cool. And discard this one. I don't want them to buy something broken. Food is running low. Three bud. Get rid of this. What I should do... I should allocate some good food to the ones that have low morale. To help them bring it back up. And as you progress through with the quests, you fight bosses, you fight enemies. Like now I have this imminent threat. So I need to complete two slay quests against uh, goblins. reminds me I need to craft another one because the previous one failed. Uh, actually, can you bring me back some herbs? Sebastian is back on town. He actually won his quest. Nice. And it was a slay quest too. Michael succeeded on a quest. Nice.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> For now, it's uh, workable. So T will need a quest, Michael will need a quest, and Sebastian will need a quest. So Michael can take this. T has 11. So I'm gonna send T here. Sebastian can do the other sleigh quest. What am I missing? If I press the right button, that would help. Nope, we're good. Ooh, Sebastian leveled up. <laughs> Level two. It's all the fruitcake, I'm telling you. Sword. Very good, very good. Probably craft a couple more, huh? Get rid of the broken. This is going well. This is going fairly well. For now. So yeah. One successful. Took the imminent threat down to half. I cannot upgrade portions, only weapons. Okay. Good to know. Little bit of gold at a time. Potion. Good. So I can make three more. Hopefully some of them will be good. <clears throat> and small I can spend gold to increase the chance of them being better, but much more expensive they will go 500 yeah risk it why not normal and good well at least i don't need to get rid of them Where are the mushrooms? And are the other ones back? Yes, they are.
New hero! Who this? Zanil. Zanil? Do I have a weapon for you to buy? I do. And you will need a quest. Hmm. The tents are a bit tricky, but I'm sure you can do it. He'll go to level up. Nice. Still has a CR 14. Let's give him another one. Let's send him on. This and bring back some metal. Well, is in town. So Zanil has a quest. Yes. Okay. And if they don't find a quest, they take a massive penalty on their morale. So especially at this point, I try to tailor the quests around them instead of just listing a bunch because their CR keeps going up and down. And they will always aim to take something that is within their optimal CR. And that's all, always good. Uh, need more food. Food to get more food. I like the way this works. Only two are bad. What else do we need? weapons let's try to make a couple more and wish for the best rare that's nice uncommon i'll take it and then common okay i am being very very lucky my pre previous playthroughs have not been that lucky <laughs> It was like, you want to upgrade this? Oh, it failed. You want to do this quest? Oh, it failed. Are we going on this? So take that. 11. Uh, I don't have someone with leather back yet. And I have another 11 days. We're okay. I really need someone to bring some herbs back. Trader, just in time, buddy. Sixty extra gold, I'll take it. Hey, I noticed there is plenty of land you haven't taken advantage of, and that's just a missed opportunity. I don't have the money for it. Consider building more workstations to attract new artisans. Doing so will allow you to have more stock to sell, which also increases your town reputation. You can even build upgrades to produce resources, which can be great sources for leather, linen, and herbs. Okay, so I'm going to spend the three tokens, money and a bar. Sure. 
I need herbs, so one, two. I want to get ten of them, and there is a method to my madness. I want to make another herb garden. That will be two. Stop this. Let's buy one leather. That will be eleven. And now I need two more pieces of metal. Let's give this to the king. Take his money. And keep him happy. Plus a green sword. Why, thank you. Now. I need potions. I need potions. Let's buy another... Ooh, the price went up. So let's buy another six. Adding the flask, is it worth it? Hmm. Yes. Three normal ones, that's good. McPernal was successful, that's good. What do, what do, I can make more potions to increase my stockpile because I have one and then I have another three that will come back. So four potions are barely enough for them. And at least when the trader is here, things do not really go to waste. Let's make a couple more potions. I'll need to buy some food. I don't see any mushrooms around. Good, here's some. Should be okay. to buy the herbs let's aim for five of them so i'll be five herbs three bad ones be expected I guess and let's buy some food so we can at least play it safe Too bad, it's fine. Here you go, buy the horrible this. Okay. Someone barely survived. Hmm. 
the leather and fruitcake. Well, that fixes the problem with the morale for now. Now I can make tier 2 weapons. And they cost double the amount. Buy trader. Oh yeah, the colonel will need a quest. Let's go with a simple one. Game. Let me craft the quest. So seven should be fine. Let's do some herbs. Gain 12 resources from production farms. Yep, we're working on it. It was bothering me, it was out of place. <laughs> So I get a surplus of three every time from this. Which for the money. So your quality is two stars. So for every star, this produce one more. I think the stars go up based on the quality items they sell. So to get a positive loop out of those, so I'm spending four to get ten, so I get only six extra. And with six, I can only make a small amount of potions. I need another one of these. So I don't need to depend on the heroes to bring them back. Is anyone on a sleigh quest? Yes. Sebastian is... And he actually did it. Nice. Sebastian, you have killed 231 enemies. And you are rich with 6,000 gold. <laughs> so what is his CR? His CR is 14 plus... So he can very easily go on this when he's back. Okay. To craft more food.
I am tempted to make a second class. Because that way at least I'll get a little bit of a passive income. Yes, you did. You brought money back to us. Um, do I want to make a second one? Yes. How much does it cost? So primary will be dexterity, one-handed swords, because that's all I have. Yeah, let's do it. Do I have weapons? Yes. Let's make another legendary. Nice. He's back in town with a CR 10 who was successful on a mission and is going to go on another one. Oh, did I send a... Uh, oops. Why are you not rested? Why did you go out before you're ready? Oopsie. Good. I mean, that trend is done. Ten this. Oh, Till is back as well. CR 10. Let's get a bunch of herbs. Let's go with an 11. Let's get two of them. So, this one is for Teal. Let's give this 87% morale. You are rocking it. I need the quest for Michael. Let's do a scavenging for herbs. Should be doable. Oh, someone brought back herbs. Nice. Let's make one more of them. Another two to replenish. And I want to use the last one. I cannot do it. For a potion stand. But I guess this will have to wait.
Are we three weapons? Five potions. Food is running a little low. But not too horribly low. Yeah, the goal is to help them create a lot of killing effect. Hmm. Yep, make this. Too bad. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Not upgrade anything else. They all have a quest. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> we will see. Haley. Haley is new in town. Well, Haley will become the new Nocturnal. And yes, uh, heroes are going to die frequently. And Michael, um, yeah, he has a sort of easy quest. Sort of. Let's make a quest for this. More herbs. And farming. Let's go with a 10. What's the CR for Slay? Slay's 11. So let's do this and let's do more metal. And let's do a bit of food. Go do this. And we'll go buy the last potion. Craft one more. Or try to at least. Ooh, excellent. Yes. At least I'll get some of my money back. They are just buying the regular green weapons. Because I don't have anything else super exciting for them. We will need to wait until... Uh, the guy is back. Until the trader is back. The one I'm worried about is Sebastian. What is he doing? Is he going out? Is why is his CR so low? He's about to level up as well. Because he doesn't have enough MP. So do I need to make food to balance their HP and MP re uh, restoration? Uh, 
Uh, can make some of the fees into it. They're not that expensive either. Okay. Let's see how that works. Yeah, because apparently the heroes use both. Just completed the quest and you brought a few things back. See, why are you taking the MP restore when you need only 14 MP? Game is silly. Craft quest. So I need something with 8 or 7. So let's do another one. Potions. Um, I can make two that increase the chance of success or reduce quest time. I kind of like those. But I'll use a lot of herbs. For this, I don't have the food. Let's do these two. One bud. Okay. Make one of this. Okay, only one bud. That's good. Very good. Bye bye. More peace. Is anyone back who doesn't have a quest? Nope. Very good. So sleeping should recover some health as well. Or not. So the only healing is the food. What does the bed do? Just comfort? There's a small morale boost then. Valric. Hello, Valric. And Othwald. Oh, hold on. When did these guys come in? Um. One and one. Need to make weapons. Make all of this. So at least they have something to buy. Quick. Nice. Let's see the review. Um, most popular class is a champion. Most heroic is Sebastian. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. We got a rating of B. I can get a new lot for free. That's handy. That's very handy. Greetings. You know who I am. I've been taking quests and drinking ale from your inn for quite some time now. Anywho, I wanted to reach out and let you know that the folks and I have been talking. We think this could be a great hub for our heroic adventures. There are a few things we should address first. 
We need quality gear from your shops to return safely, for more quests and more workstations to learn new proficiencies from the Weapon Master. Additionally, training dummies will help us get some training done and hone our skills. Of course, the more we train, the more royal tokens you will learn. Doing this will boost your town reputation, and heroes from all over Falonia will want to come here and buy your wares. So, that means I can make a training dummy, which I have the resources. And that's why I wanted the door out here. So this place you here. And your management. <laughs> uh, those two guys need quests, and they're slay. I don't want to send the newbies into the slay. But I do want them to do some farming stuff. So let's make them easy just to play it safe. Bring me some metal. Bring me some herbs. Valric, you get this. Othwald, you get this. Good. Did I get any upgrade tokens? I need. Increase Heroes XP gained by training by 5%. Nice. Fail. It's okay. We're going pretty well so far. So I'll take it. Food is running quite low, but everything else is balancing out slowly. Are the beehives still going? Yes. Who do we have in town now? These two guys and they're leaving. T. Sebastian. Did he actually win? Ooh. Sebastian is coming back and Michael is coming back. Nice. So the three of them will want potions. I have two. I should have a third by then. Oh. I can allocate the mana potion to Sebastian to help him get up his CR. Yes. That does make sense. He's back. Hundred percent, five percent. Yeah. And let's give this. I cannot. He's not back yet. He's almost back. Three more upgrades, yes. Come on, legendary. We will need a new quest. What to do? Someone is dragging their uh, <laughs> their ass back. Uh, make some good food for him. If I can. No bad sushi. No bad sushi. Let's give this one to Sebastian so he can heal a little bit. And he brought back extra resources because 
He did a very difficult quest. Michael was successful as well and leveled up. Go do this one. The trader is here, just in time. Let's make potions. Mm-hmm. You're rocking it. I don't have food, I have the fish. Bit of an expensive endeavor. Mm. It's a very expensive endeavor, but eh. Only one bud. I'll take it. That's, that's really good. Okay, let's sell this. Give me ten mutton. Not really going to do anything with it at this point, but that's okay. Do I need more weapons? Ah, not really. But it doesn't hurt to make some. And hmm. Food. Definitely food. Make a bit more food. Because I see a crisis coming. The food crisis is not a good crisis to have. Because without food, they do not recover. And if they do not recover, they cannot go bring me more money. Bad system. So, 25%. Uh, just go with seasoning. You don't need all the extra. Too bad. Okay. He's back and need a quest, Sebastian is back and need a quest, and Michael is back and they need a quest. 15, 14, 16. Michael and T has a quest, Sebastian doesn't, while well, Sebastian now does. Uh, is that a bit too hard for him? Let's make him uh, slay... Very difficult slay quest. Which should be fairly easy for him. Now weapons. Sell the normal. Is anyone coming back? So this will bring a bunch of herbs back, but no metal. How do I want to play this? I mean, I have four weapons. 
which are plenty for now. Yeah, I'll keep that. My upkeep is 363. That's not too bad. This is up to three stars. Very good. Are there any other milestones that I'm close to? I need one more hero, which I'm sure will join us soon. Four more royal quests. 50 resources from production farms. Okay. 25 hero quests. Nothing that can be done immediately. Sebastian, why are you green? Because your morale is 100%. You're living the dream. Oh. Das is here. He's our new recruit. He will need a quest. Let's make him one. Bye, trader. Let's get some metal. So, farming and mining. Metal. When you buy a weapon, you should be fine. Oh, we're about to get on the second star. Increase our reputation to normal. He is at 84%. My heroes are happy. The ones that are alive. <laughs> The trader gone, yes, he is. But coming back let's prepare something for them go with an 11 one will do metal and the other will do herbs I should probably also give them... Ah, they already drank the rest, so we're fine. Okay. Fifteen wheat. 
We receive our latest report on our enemy movement. It appears that we thought them to be random incursions was a coordinated effort by the Elder Dragon and the minions that serve him. The Elder Dragon is a creature of vicious power. A fight against it will be futile without the control of the land surrounding the Dragon Lair and the removal of the Lord that holds them. Okay. Dispatch heroes to those lands, slay the Lord's minions and gather knowledge to lure them out from their hiding spot. Defeat the Lords to permanently gain control of the territory and be one step closer to defeating the Elder Dragon. Yes, sir. Or yes, ma'am in this case. And Thormar is our new acquisition. Do we have weapons for him? We do. We got potions. We kind of have food. So we need a quest for him. So it will be about 10. Uh, bring back some more herbs. Let's do food. More fruit cakes. Nice quality. again it's an endless loop make one you gotta make another one of course it's broken nope no broken weapons in my store No one tries to go buy any weapon because we don't have any. Mm, first time by 17% looks really good. But succeeding the quest looks even better. So if I'm to start introducing new items for them... Uh, the heavy armor needs bronze, linen and leather. So that is absolutely not what's going to happen. <laughs> we'll probably have to start with something leather. So if I buy the area, will it increase my app? I think that's pretty cheap. I think this is one of the most expensive ones. Mm. Let's buy this one. Yes, it does increase it. Okay. But I need to send someone on Slay Quests. Hmm. 
Okay, so Nocturnal is back and needs a new quest. Let's make a simple one. Because with 7 HP. Yeah. And I want. What do I want? More metal. So two simple ones. Who else is in town? No one. Thanks for the money. should probably now make the potion display. That should make them a little happy. Who is next? Craft any more weapons? Yes, I can. It's time for the RNG to go into the broken stuff. Are you bringing back Zanil herbs? You will have a CR7, you'll probably go up to a 9-ish, so you can get this one. And I don't have anyone that can go do this one. Okay. Hmm. All of them are out at 90%. That's, that's impressive. Let's do food. That restores a lot. Check. Happy, happy. Not happy, but he's out on a mission. Okay. So no one is under 50%. That's good. That is very good. So, if I'm to make the leather working stuff, two and a half thousand for the actual thing, and then for the passive income is another 1200. So, I need a good six, seven thousand to set this up. Okay? back uh, I need a quest for him CR 13 so pretty decent so you can easily go to the mountains but you can also go on the woods yeah go on the woods and bring me more metal
It'll be a while before they're ready for the CR-16s, but that's okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Biggest issue at the moment is no metal to make more weapons. And that's a bit of a pickle. Because the first thing they do every time they are back, they go buy metal. Okay, he's about to leave. Das failed with 90%. How did you fail with 90%, buddy? And Oswald is returning from a challenging quest. Okay. So we'll have a CR 10 and a CR 11. Ninety percent is really good, but yeah, he was definitely unlucky. Uh, Mr. Random, why did you buy the bread I had for my other peeps? Rude. Let's make some potions. Hmm. Bad. I can start making these ones. Tons for random T1, T2 material, which is pretty good. Too bad. Okay. I can live with that. But now there is no food. It's always something. Sometimes will be no metal, sometimes will be no food. Epic. Nice. Very usable weapon, so I'll take it. Like, this guy managed to beat the challenge with 54%. And he'll probably level up from that. Do I have a quest for him? Now I do, and that's for Das. Level up. CR 14. So barely within the limit. That's fine. It will be an easy quest for you to get some uh, more stuff. Uh, 
I weapon master. Uh, why am I going to make food when I don't have food? Oh, he actually failed his quest. And his morale is low. So he will go on this with eight. Uh, I should probably make him an easier one. Go do a scavenging for food. Well, questing is not easy, but yes, they do. <laughs> because the guy goes out, like, let's see what he has. Where is he? Uh, he has a legendary weapon, so he has no excuse. He has some pretty good stats. But yeah, he's not wearing any armor, he's not wearing anything. He just goes out on a t-shirt and a sword. <laughs> Everyone else so far, I think, is winning. I think. I mean, these guys escape with their life and they're like, oh yeah, I'll just crawl back and go for more. Yep. <laughs> I mean, his name is Das, so, you know. Do I need to say more? More mushrooms popped up. Nope. I got a bit more metal. And those are not ready yet. Soon. Now would be a great time for the trader to drop by. There you go. Ask and you shall receive. Keaton. Keaton will be the new one. Uh, Keaton will go do this quest as soon as he is equipped. With the weapons that we don't have, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> now we do. Broken and normal. It's fine. Trader is here. Perfect time for them to break. Food is really low. Come on, trader. Walk faster. Are you a different color every time? Last time you were yellow. Okay, a few herbs. Okay, let's begin with the basic. Sell, sell. Mm-hmm, I'll take that. But actually utilize that for money. 20 fish, sure. Ooh, those sell for uh, a lot. I'm not going to use them anytime soon, so yes, sell them. I can sell the muttons as well. Ah, no, they don't sell for that much. 
So no, just keep them. Hmm. Okay. So what's the plan? Nothing I can upgrade. Okay. Keaton is in town and he's leaving and I have a bunch of people coming back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I will need seven potions for them, which they have. I will need food for them, which I don't have. Okay, so we're buying food. back and you don't have a quest or do you have a quest yeah you do have a quest confuse me there for a second uh, I will also need to give them quests as soon as they come back because they have very decent CRs and I don't want to miss the trader Let's make some of these. Only one bud, that's okay. The thing is, even the normal ones are horrible, but at least they don't give them any morale penalty. You're still not gone? You have a quest to do, buddy? Ezanil is back. Did the quest without any problem. Will heal a little bit, maybe get up to CR9. Which means... We need a nice CR9. Let's go with a CR10. Why not? Give me some leather. And make one more weapon if I really want to. is back yeah let's make one more weapon why not hello amanda welcome lots of emojis <laughs> Heal. Uh, CR 13. What do we have for this guy? Uh, both of those give 3 to 5, and then they can switch to 18 for the second one. Okay, let's do this and let's go for more metal. and switch into treasure hunt
Still can do this one easily. Still we can do this easily. Way too easily actually. Okay. Valric. The joys of Night City. Freedom time! <laughs> time for slumber. Yep. Always the highlight after a sift, isn't it? Um, so I bought this plot of land to make a tanner. So I'll make a tannery, set up some rabbit traps, and start making pauldrons and um, helmets for the heroes. Armor is back, he will need a quest, CR 13. Uh, Ooh, the mines give some good stuff. Let's go to the mountain. Bring back some leather. We need a bunch of leather to get things started. Just trying to be careful with the expenses. Is it something tonight? That got me a bit off guard. <laughs> yes, it, it's very pricey. Uh, Eton, why do you not have a quest? Oh, you're leaving, you have a quest. Okay, bye! What do you want, King? Of course you want a bunch of stuff that I don't have. Twelve threads! Fine.
but yeah, I need to take it slow because at the moment I'm struggling to keep everything else going. Michael is back and he succeeded. Almost level 3 with CR 11. Let's get him something nice. Um, those give 3 to 5. They are similar. You're gonna go to the hoods. Does he live already? All done. Don't go yet. Different quest. You have CR 15. You're good. Uh, go do one of this. Food. Let's make more food. Bud. You're catching up with Sebastian on successful quests, Michael. <laughs> oh, Sebastian is my prodigy. <laughs> Thunder. Okay. CR 15. Work harder, Sebastian. Work harder. <laughs> The one and only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go to the mountain. And you better not die, Sebastian, on this one. sure you will. You're doing pretty good. Can I see how many failed quests people have? I don't think I can. No. Okay, who is the one with the most money? I think it's Sebastian. Yeah, Sebastian and T is second. I'm not going to let you die. You haven't paid off your uh, your debt yet. Okay, so it's still going good, still going good. Cool, let's build. So to unlock the rabbit thing, I need to finish the tanner. So I need to finish the building. Vendor counter. Actually, yeah, let's put it there. That goes outside. Ah, am I getting money? Spend money. Spend money to make money. 
down there. Banner is good. Good, good, good. Well, you're edgy as well. You're running around with a legendary sword as well. With a burly one-hand sword. <laughs> so anyone here who needs a quest? Any new victims? Nope. I love this visual bug right here. <laughs> Is this backwards again? How many are coming back? Two. No. I'll wait for the trader if I can. So I can minimize the waste. good time let's see crafting helmet cost one and one nope pauldrons just cost leather that i can work with medium armor leather and linen so that will wait for a lot longer which actually makes sense because Armor was always a very expensive thing to make. is all right hey it's me the weapon master i just wanted to say you have been doing a great job with this place so far and honestly adventurers seek seek me more than i have to seek them by now they all want to come here so that got me thinking it would be a good idea to settle down here maybe you could build some training grounds and allow me to provide better training for the heroes that link down will also help me organize my paperwork, allowing for more active classes at a time. This will be an improvement for your thriving town and a great source of royal tokens, since the more training we get done, the more you get paid, the more you get paid. Think about it. While I know it's great, it will cost an arm and a leg. So, later. Ooh, Leroy! Leroy Jenkins in the house. Okay, well. So, a quest for 10 and a quest for 9. I have a 10, so that's for Nocturnal. And let's give Leroy one as well. Uh, scavenging a 9. Yes, that works. Uh, do one of those, sure. Four of them coming back, that's okay. Now I have enough money. 
Well, that is yet to be seen, Michael. <laughs> that is yet to be seen. He's, uh, <clears throat> he's a bit of a wild one. If he's the real deal. Are you the real one? please another one hey uh, how did you even say that to name Eliza. Eliza. Too many E sounding stuff. Oh, well, let's send them to bring us back leather. So we can set up our leather economy. When he gets a weapon. Imminent threat, three goblins in ten days. Okay. Let's go... Oh. In the swarm, 12 to 17. That's not bad. So do one for cloth. Do one for metal. Another one for leather. Three. And let's make a fourth one again for metal. Weapons. And another guy, we have Kyler. Um, mm hmm. -hmm. He will be a 10. Getting a bit too many recruits at the time. Go bring herbs. Another one, go bring food. So. Tyler, go bring food. Another one. Hold on. There are too many. Damn thorn. Okay. You go do this. <laughs> Hi, Jess. Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. Good morning. Okay, so, Nocturnal does Othwald Zenil. Do they have quests? Nocturnal does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's chaos mode, especially with the, the newcomers. Okay, so, Eliza, Kyler, and Demho has quests. Leroy has a quest. Valric. Valric needs a quest. Done. Next. Zanil needs a quest. Only nine. You're gonna heal up to a ten. Twelve will be too difficult for you. Let's make you one. Um, bring some cloth, sure. Zanil. Let's 
están. Othwald does. Othwald doesn't have a quest, but he can go do a slay quest and. Ah, no, he won't do it. Will he? Eh, he doesn't have a choice. And. Das can go do this. Need food. Need more food. Panic. <laughs> One bad. That's okay. Food. Bad. Bye bye. Also, all these people will need weapons. Hold on! Don't give me a broken game. Behave. And buy a broken weapon? You bought a normal one. Phew. To do for now. Breathe. golden stash <laughs> oh no they're all going for potions oh no um um too bad it's okay Take the door away. Door is important. And yes, just not only it came out, it also had the two quality of light life upgrades already. Mm-hmm. Sebastian, it's very, very addicting. <laughs> like very whoop whoop Okay. Good. They are mostly happy. Besides the new the new one. 70 60. They are pretty happy. Mm. 
What was Raptor playing? Which one? You need the retirement. Well... <laughs> we need another 24 hours on top of the 24 hours, but those are only for uh, relaxation and gaming. Probably make a fourth one. Unfortunately, there is never enough time. Funnily enough, from all the demos I played, I plan on buying all five of them. <laughs> because I enjoyed all of them. Das, why are you chilling? Oh, hey, bruh. You have a quest, don't you? Wait. Are you not my... Yes, you are. So how are you here, and how are you in an adventure? Um, okay. Stranded alien dawn, that sounds interesting. It's not the one with the oxygen mechanic, is it? Also, you haven't finished our, uh, read that. I thought you did. You were pretty close. <laughs> yep. broken Thormar is back CR14 Thormar you go do this ah Sinus yes <laughs> Leveled up as well. Hmm. Hmm. Altering. Bunch of interesting names. So T is back, completed a quest. No level up, right? Nope. 
TR11, so probably around 13. Trader, nice. Uh, let's go with this. Yeah, I seen um, an announcement on their Discord about uh, animal husbandry or alien husbandry. It's one of those games that I leave on the slow burner and then go revisit soon. No, who couldn't find gear? No, hold on. And you need to divide yourself into 20 people to be able to achieve that. <laughs> Unfortunately. Potions, food, weapons. I need everything again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then sailing. Don't forget the sailing. <laughs> or you can... Uh, Introduce gaming from a boat. I'm sure it will sell quite well. But today we are in the Mediterranean and uh, we are sailing. It's nice and windy and we are playing Icarus. But we are not flying close to the sun because we know how that ends up. <laughs> nope. Board mission, wrong class. So all of them are going to do their thing. When do you finish? How long you got left? Definitely need 
make another weapon. Okay, so... 12... What will that cost? That'll cost more than the actual thing. So 12 of those will be 1,300 roughly. I'll get back 4,000. Okay, it is worth it. That's alright then. You're getting there. A good 4,000. Push back! Elton in and Johnny. I'll need a quest for Johnny. Plus, it's the weekend, so... Double A. Well, it's not yet. It's better. Oops, forgot to fill this one. Um... Give me one leather, please. Thank you. Is it five stars yet? Four. Oh yes, food. Um Michael just leveled up again. CR 14, what am I gonna send you? That makes a big difference. Okay, let's send Michael into a danger Bruce mission. Jonathan is back. What will be your CR, buddy? Come on, come on. So maybe a 10 at most. Let's do 
this and let's get more leather. You shall not perish. You shall be okay. Believe in the process. <laughs> Allies are killer them. So. Too many quests. Bye, trader. Tyler is here. He's another eight. Give me some food. I keep sending people for food. Tyler, go. Go. He's magic. He can levitate. Darn Thor needs a quest. No, he has a quest. Eliza doesn't have a quest, right? Correct. And his CR is 10. The life of an adventurer is dangerous. Let's send him to the cemetery. See, at least I didn't send you to the cemetery, Michael. I'm so gonna run out of food and weapons and everything. One bud, okay. The bus then is back and he's limping. And we have a new victim. Ooh. You shall be Jess. There you go. Do I have a weapon for you? Probably not. Let's bring back some wood because we're running out. Another new one. No, stop. Stop bringing new people. Okay. We'll make this one Nicole. Uh, do we have weapons? Make more. Broken.
not ready yet. This is taking its sweet time. It's to be a bit bigger as well. In time. It's for the money. Sebastian will need a new quest and he will need some food as well. Ooh, that's a big penalty because he didn't find an upgraded weapon. Mm. CR is only 12. Let's send him to the mountains to bring more metal. Did I send anyone for sleigh quests? Uh, one, two. Yeah, I have two for sleigh quests. Three, four. Okay, I have a bunch of them. They just haven't come back yet. Almost at the end of the second season. This is really slow. Hmm. Another new one. <laughs> Rahu. Hello, Rahu. You will need another quest. This one. Rahu can go do this one. Leroy can just. So you won't level up. CR 8. Get you one of these. We'll make them two. Three. Uh, 
And they will all raid this to get the potions. more <clears throat> for retired Valric there were no upgrades why your morale wasn't that bad. And another new person. <laughs> this is really spiraling out of control. What do I need for tier 2? I should be able to make 3 of them. Hmm, okay. guy quest as well everyone has a quest no one has food nice This one... Another one retired with for no upgrades. Yeah, I really need to open up the leather thing. Before they all abandon me. It's five, another two to load. And that's me. I need one more, really. Yeah, 
because three at a time with all these guys will be impossible. And I use this. They only recover health. Well, in an emergency, food is food. I just need a bit of bronze. I wonder if there is a way to limit how many are coming through because they are a lot. He upgrades, so he quit as well. bars okay first one is broken Don't need to sort um, Oh no, they're all coming back. Oh no. It's about to get wild. That's okay. Michael is back. He's alive. You were successful indeed. And your last quest was a blast, apparently. Uh, you can go do this one. Ooh, 
It's snowing. <laughs> yeah, I told you it was a challenging mission, but you would do it. Now, since I cannot craft them yet... We stock this, so we get at least 10 at a time. What I get? Four of the good herbs, okay. And I'm out of potions again. Story of my life. Ten potions. Let's do more fish. Good, good, good. Tyler Ferris. Another one bites the dust. Oh, game behave. They keep saying they cannot find an upgrade, but who could not find an upgrade? There is no one in the blacksmith. Did they actually go to this guy? No, they shouldn't. Sebastian has 16. You can go to this one. Dunthorn needs a quest, Thomar, Till, and Keegan. Uh, duplicates here, who is 16. Well, Sebastian can do this one, and he can free this one up for... And of course now there is no food. <laughs> ah, game. Mm. Stop this, we're gonna need the money. Don't 
is back. Right, right. CR12. <laughs> this is totally out of control. And I don't have any more herbs. Trader, where are you? Your presence is required. I guess I can make some weapons. Perfect. He's here. Just on time. Heroes cannot find a CR for them. Keaton, Zanil, and Omari. Keaton. Zanil and Omari. Omari doesn't have one. There, take this one. One bar. Sadness. Some herbs. Good. The worst one master will be here soon. And I should go for a third one. Keep up with the demand. A lot of eight and a lot of tens.
Now with three, that's much better. New heroes keep coming up. Um, Weapon Master is doing push ups? Okay. I mean, sure. Whatever works for him. Very leveled up. I need to think of a better way to handle this snowball effect. Because they do snowball hard. Don't have any upgrade tokens, do I? No. How much will it cost me to allow them to have pauldrons? 320. That's right, that's not too bad. our champions good this guy
Okay, so with the challenging, if one time they don't find what they want, they're out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is a pain. Now I should be able to start crafting some of this. Broken, both of them broken. back without a quest. Surprisingly, Leroy is doing very well. The names of these achievements. <laughs> Get Pamel, really? How do I build a surplus before they rush in and eat the whole place? Legendary host. Okay. In up to five stars. Okay. I don't think that's going to help me much at the moment, but sure. Okay, 
you have a quest right now you do why did his morale drop by 50 that's massive More pauldrons, hopefully not broken ones, or they're broken. Why does the game keep me at 20 heroes non-stop? Okay, at least those are a bit better.
Sebastian is back in town. play until the end of this season and then I will wrap it up for tonight well we don't know that I gave you a lot of XP and you bought a piece of bread a bun specifically Let's go. Let's, let's start giving them some treasure hunts. Yeah. They have the CR, so why not? Mm hmm. Yes, Sebastian. Right. I'm sure you are lurking. Keep an eye on that. Let's see if his morale will tank. And where? Because with this game being new, of course there is no information out there. of look like Bjorn from um, Vikings. <laughs> oh no. Someone bought, bought solder pads right before you got there. What do you want, king? Oh. What? What is this dude asking? B. Well, supposedly you're still the most heroic uh, person I have. So there's that. <laughs> okay. And this is where I will wrap this one up. Thanks everyone for hanging out with me. Hope you didn't get too addicted to this game like I have. And I will catch you all on the next one.